Optimus is much more terrifying than we thought. Here's what happened. Since the introduction of Optimus Gen 2, Elon Musk's ambition for it has been immense. At this point, it seems to have truly begun to make an impact by being ready to replace 10% of the workforce that's been cut for Tesla factories. It'll accomplish at least 100 different tasks within the factory through an unprecedented breakthrough, which could be considered the largest. You might think this is an exaggeration, but only with this upgrade will the entire game change. So, how is Optimus the game changer for Tesla? It's not wrong to say Tesla's plan to lay off more than 10% of its global workforce is a timely opportunity for humanoid robot Optimus to step into the factories to perform tasks, ranging from simple to complex. Most recently, Elon Musk has announced an update for this humanoid robot, which we believe to be the largest to date. By the end of this year, Optimus is poised to receive 20 degrees of freedom for its hands, doubling the current number. This information has been confirmed by Tesla's owner on X. But why does Optimus's hand have five fingers? The five fingers are designed to give Optimus as many degrees of freedom as possible. Although almost everyone is familiar with the concept of degrees of freedom, if this is something new to you, here's what you need to know. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent movements a robot can execute. For humanoid robots, degrees of freedom typically include movements at various joints throughout the robot's body, similar to the joints in the human body. Currently, the Tesla bot has 11 degrees of freedom in its hands, but it is capable of performing a wide range of tasks that the manufacturer has showcased, such as folding a shirt, arranging eggs, and handling the 4680 battery. It's so good to make NVIDIA senior research manager and lead of embodied AI gear lab Jim Fan note that Optimus hands are among the best five-finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing, 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only six to seven degrees of freedom, and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. Yes, we were wrong to underestimate Tesla Bot because it is receiving a lot of updates to get closer to the name Humanoid Robot. Maybe you don't know this. Human hands have 27 degrees of freedom, and we can do everything with our hands. So the most interesting question right now is if Tesla Optimus has 22 degrees of freedom in its new hands as Elon promises, how perfect is that going to be? Of course, it'll do two-thirds as much work as a human, but first, let's see how it'll replace 10% of the workforce. The clearest evidence that Optimus can replace human labor in Tesla factories has been vividly demonstrated in the latest video presented by Tesla. While it may not be groundbreaking, it's at least useful enough for it to start working. The humanoid robot is currently performing basic tasks in the factory, including sorting 4680 batteries into trays. To accomplish this action, Optimus primarily relies on the end-to-end -end neural network embedded in full self-driving technology. So why does Optimus require this neural network? Certainly, an end-to-end -end neural network is crucial to the extent that without it, the Tesla bot would become a waste. The end-to-end -end neural network allows all operations of the Tesla bot to be handled by the neural network instead of being encoded by programmers individually, similar to the Atlas robot, a robot that's been discontinued by Boston Dynamics. This is the first time Tesla has deployed this tech in its software, and fortunately, alongside EVs, Optimus has also integrated it. Currently, at the Tesla Gigafactory, the process of arranging 4680 batteries and then transporting them to other areas for packaging is still 100% carried out by human labor. However, as we have seen, Optimus is fully capable of performing such tasks to reduce the workload of human workers. Even when the 4680 battery cells are quite heavy, weighing approximately 335 grams a cell, the robot can still manage this because it's been leaked that it has the ability to carry around 45 pounds. In contrast to previous introduction videos, this time Tesla particularly emphasizes the robot's ability to autonomously complete tasks, especially those tasks existing within Tesla's factories. The evidence lies in the video where it demonstrates the capability to fold clothes. Though intriguing and innovative, upon closer inspection, it's apparent that behind it, there are still many wires and it seems to be actively controlled rather than operating autonomously. And everything has changed significantly this time. Optimus only takes 7 seconds to arrange a 4680 cell into a tray without being controlled by any wires or operators. A tray includes 30 slots, and Optimus needs at least 3 minutes and 30 seconds to fill it up. It can be seen that it is much slower than the speed of a human, but Tesla is still improving the speed for its robots, something we're confident will significantly reduce the time with 22 degrees of freedom on the horizon.
But the key question remains, is Optimus really perfect without flaws? In reality, both robots and humans are prone to encountering issues and errors during work. The crucial aspect is the ability to self-correct the errors they cause. Humans can quickly rectify mistakes, but for Optimus Robot, this gets more complex. Therefore, to truly replace human labor force, Optimus needs to have the ability to self-correct like humans, and fortunately, Tesla has achieved this in its latest announcement. When a 4680 battery cell deviates from its position in the tray, Optimus doesn't require much time or effort to rearrange it. This demonstrates the robot's ability to recognize errors, failures, and tasks, and resolve them autonomously. Let's take a similar task, such as painting Tesla cars in the workshop, for example. If the paint color isn't specified, Optimus can adjust the paint color itself or pick up any dropped screws. All of these possibilities open up promising prospects for the future of automation, and everything is worth expecting regarding the feasibility for Optimus. In the latest video segment, Tesla demonstrated that the Optimus robot utilizes cameras, tactile sensors in its hands, and force sensors to gather data about the surrounding environment. In reality, the head of Optimus isn't entirely hollow, but it has fewer components to avoid exceeding weight limitations, which would pose difficulties when the robot rotates its head. The company also revealed that Optimus has undergone testing at one of their factories, and human intervention has gradually decreased as Optimus gets more refined. Why will Tesla produce more Optimus robots this year? Milan Kovac, the senior engineer for responsible for developing Tesla's bots, revealed that the production team has constructed more bots for his group to work with and collect AI data over the past few months. We've seen quite a few Optimus Gen 2 bots available in the testing facility, and they are in the process of learning to perform various tasks. Some are arranging batteries while others are stacking items onto shelves, with a total of around 20 units. This year, the number is definitely expected to increase by at least 500 units as the manufacturer is in the final stages of mass production. Musk has hinted multiple times that the cost will be $20,000. We believe this is a price point that Tesla may not achieve for many years because there's a considerable skepticism given that the Tesla Cybertruck was introduced in November 19 with a starting price of $39,990 and currently has a starting price of $60,990. We should only wait and see the final outcome. Musk claims that Optimus will cost less than half the price of a regular vehicle to produce. What do you think about all this? In essence, the ability of the Tesla bot to move smoothly within an office environment further demonstrates its potential for flexibility in a complex large-scale gigafactory. The speed of movement may not be crucial. What's more important is its ability to navigate correctly and avoid collisions with any machinery, equipment, or humans inside. The truth is, for the Optimus robot to completely replace a human worker within a factory, the tasks that Tesla has introduced seem not enough. Optimus would need to perform at least 100 different tasks, both complex and basic, and some tasks may not have been clearly suggested yet. What will Optimus do at the Gigafactory in its efforts to replace humans? As Elon's original purpose, the invention of humanoid robots aims to reduce the heavy and repetitive workloads for humans while improving efficiency and accuracy in the production process. Before selling to external customers, Optimus will probably need it for the Tesla factory first. This is a must because it's directly related to evaluation and testing of technological feasibility before selling it to the market. One of the simplest tasks that Tesla Optimus can perform is material transportation. As mentioned above, or exemplified by the arrangement of 4680 battery cells, Optimus is capable of moving components and materials from the warehouse to assembly lines, as well as loading and unloading goods onto internal transport vehicles or conveyors. This not only saves time, but also reduces the risk of accidents related to transporting heavy loads. What do you think about the idea of a $25,000 Tesla EV having some involvement from Optimus? Besides basic transportation tasks, Tesla Optimus can also participate in simpler assembly stages such as assembling small vehicle parts, tightening screws, and even replacing rusted screws for manufacturing equipment, or more precisely, attaching details to fixed positions. Previously, Elon Musk hinted at a future EV production line combined with AI, and Optimus is certainly the representative. You might doubt this because, indeed, it cannot intervene too much in the production of an electric vehicle. However, there are always other tasks for it, such as installing small parts like LED lights, sensors, painting small details, or hard-to-reach parts that require high precision, such as edges or Tesla logo characters for EVs. Some parts like door handles, buttons, they can also be fully intervened by Optimus's hand. Indeed, you can see it fully meets the criteria to replace 10% of the reduced workforce with simple tasks. 
not only limited to assembly, Tesla Optimus can also take on product quality inspection. This robot is capable of inspecting finished products or parts during the assembly process to ensure they meet quality standards. For example, detecting scratches upon product contact, uneven paint, and even missing components on the vehicle. The sensors in the robot's head can detect many things that humans cannot. Using automated testing tools helps Tesla Optimus detect errors or defects in products quickly and accurately. At this time, accuracy is considered much higher. You know, the rate of human error is always higher than that of robots, and it cannot be compared with the FSD technology connected in Tesla Bot. It's undeniable that the participation of Tesla Optimus in the assembly process helps increase precision and ensure product consistency. Why would the Tesla factory minimize risks as Optimus numbers rise? Furthermore, Tesla Optimus can perform maintenance tasks and inspect machinery, clean production area sections. This robot can replace components, lubricate moving parts, or clean machine parts on the production line, which is a tedious job that nobody wants to do. And now, Optimus is ready to take on those tasks. The essence of Optimus is inherently oriented towards being a homemaker, so cleaning household spaces is a mandatory feature. It can be linked with a vacuum cleaner or any other cleaning machine to perform tasks, but before reaching the hands of external customers, the cleanliness capability and level must be thoroughly tested at the Tesla factory. It wouldn't be an overstatement to say that Optimus will surely detect small sharp metal pieces under the floor due to the production process. Its object analysis feature and sensors will address these hard-to-detect risks. As a machine checker, Tesla Optimus also monitors and reports the status of devices helping to detect early and promptly repairing when necessary. This is especially important for early detection of electrical, liquid, and toxic gas leaks that spread throughout the entire plant. You might think that everything we say overestimates Optimus, even exaggerating the benefits of humanoid robots, but many experts have highly appreciated the potential of this robot in performing the proposed tasks. For example, Sent Basher, an analyst and expert in assessing the potential development of the robotics market, co-founder and chief investment officer at Brilliant Advice shared this on X. The CEOs of big companies that employ lots of workers should be calling on Elon right now and paying Tesla lots of money to be first in line to get the Optimus robot. If they're not first in line, they could be waiting for years and watching as their competition deploys humanoid robots, massively undercutting them. He also presented intriguing scenarios and questions when Optimus is entrusted to large commercial companies. At this point, concerns about intense competition arise, and he tweeted that they should view it as a call option on the survival of their business. So what happens if UPS deploys bots before FedEx? And what happens if Walmart deploys bots before Amazon, Target, or Kroger? Finally, what happens if Ford beats GM? All is crazy to imagine. Why would Optimus be a good robot at managing? Warehouse management is also an area where Tesla Optimus can participate effectively. This robot can sort and organize warehouses, ensuring that components and materials are stored in an orderly and easy-to-find manner. In addition, Tesla Optimus also conducts inventory, tracks inventory, and reports when replenishment is needed, helping to optimize the warehouse management process. Not only supporting and work directly related to production, Tesla Optimus can also support administrative tasks such as recording, data entry, and document management. This reduces the administrative load on employees, allowing them to focus on more important tasks. In summary, Tesla Optimus is designed with the goal of enhancing efficiency and accuracy in the manufacturing process, while also reducing the burden of repetitive and labor-intensive tasks for humans. With its ability to perform a variety of tasks from transportation, assembly, quality control, machinery maintenance, warehouse management, to administrative support, Tesla Optimus promises to bring significant improvements to the manufacturing industry. Ultimately, depending on the mission, Optimus could replace 14,000 employees in the Tesla factory. Maybe we are wrong in thinking that humanoid robots are not meaningful for many practical tasks compared to human labor. And besides, these Optimus robots will not be sold until Tesla produces enough for themselves. Of course, everything's not right because to achieve enough numbers for at least six factories, millions of robots aren't enough. More precisely, Tesla will commercialize its robot by the end of 2025, as Musk said. We do, we do think we will have Optimus um, in limited production in the factory, in the actual factory itself, doing useful tasks before the end of this year. I think we, we may be able to sell it externally by the end of next year. The scale of Optimus is also anticipated to be targeted towards other commercial companies, such as Walmart, Amazon, PepsiCo, similar to how Tesla delivered Tesla semi-trucks. Optimus will be purchased for tasks that align perfectly with its capabilities. For example, simpler yet more hazardous tasks. Yeah, and in the next five to 10 years, 
they'll be cheap enough for anyone to own a unit. We mentioned earlier that Tesla bought replacing 10% of the reduced workforce might seem speculative at the moment, but by the end of this year, when it receives 22 degrees of freedom for its hands alone, the game will completely change, especially with its end-to-end -end neural network continuously improving. Milan Kovac also explained that they have trained and deployed a neural network allowing Optimus to start performing useful tasks. One of these tasks is picking up battery cells from the conveyor belt and accurately placing them in the trays. We still don't know how far the technology has progressed and how long it'll take for bots to truly take on human tasks without close supervision. However, it's evident that it indeed holds a lot of new potential to achieve what humans can do. In today's era with the presence of AI coupled with training specific tasks beforehand, a humanoid robot being able to move from one station to another and perform tasks within a factory is a major consideration. From a humane perspective, full automation of all tasks in a factory might not be Optimus's primary target market, as it would exacerbate unemployment. Instead, the primary goal would be tasks collaboratively undertaken with humans or non-autonomous machinery. Optimus can drive, perhaps, but it's unlikely to happen until after 2035 because fully autonomous 100% driverless vehicles will likely prevail by then with equivalent high costs. Could Optimus become a skilled bartender? It's possible. Personal assistance at home for the elderly? Absolutely. The demand for humanoid robots as homemakers is tremendously high. From the perspective of working as factory workers, it might diminish in value because the human-like form will hold higher value for residential and household needs. Now, many people are genuinely curious about the demand for humanoid robots. How many billions of units do you think this demand will be? If you're one of those who want to own at least one, please leave number one in the comment. And if you find it has less potential, then give us some comments about it. A survey will help us learn more about the demand for this technology. We appreciate your contributions. Having said that, we hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching our video. And if you did, Please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel and don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.